Alright guys, I'm gonna hopefully shoot kind of a quick one here. It may drag out, so bear with me. I'm gonna take the divider out here and see how Maximus does here. Last time I took the divider out, he beat her up pretty good, so we'll see how he does this time. First time I pulled the divider, he would go right to about where the divider was and then stop. He didn't know if he should go past it or not, so. I got the camera on a tripod this time. We'll see if that kind of keeps everything a little more still. He's getting pretty good size. He's got to be a solid 10, I would think, by now. Let's see if I can get over here to him. So you can see him. Yeah, there he is. And there she is. He's already showing off. Let's see if she'll change color or not this time. She's coming right over there now. I can hear him. You won't be able to pick it up on the video, but I can hear him banging on the glass in the back there. He's actually not hitting the glass. I can hear him making noise from shaking in the water. I can hear it all the way out here. I'm three feet from the tank. Let's see if we can get it over here a little bit. She seems to be a little bit more receptive. You can see her ventral fins are starting to turn black already. Yep. And she's getting pretty green. Trying to figure out this tripod. It's got 52,000 dials and stuff on it that I gotta try to figure out how to which one to turn. Well, it looks like they're this is a lot better than the first time. Her fins have turned all black now. She's flashing at him now a little bit. Alright, let's get down here a little bit. Here we go.
just kind of wanted to mainly show everybody um, how quickly the their colors change when the opposite sex is uh, thrown in the mix. I mean, you guys all saw that she was kind of a, I don't know, an ugly gray color before. Now she's got all the green, all her fins are black. Try not to bore you guys to death, but some of the gorillas people will be interested to see what uh, the behavior is like. He's getting a little, a little wound up now. This is kind of what he did last time. He, she was interested while he was fairly mellow, and then as soon as he got a little rambunctious, she head for the hills. See if I can lower this down a little bit. Get on their level a little bit here. She runs all the way to the other side of the tank pretty quick when he gets out of hand. Uh, I, I left all the tubes in here yet just so she's got some places to go. Um, wow, the glass really just starts the hell out of them there, don't it? Get it more straight on for you. There we go. So far, so good. He was uh, a lot worse the first time. He's getting really tall. He's not really putting length on anymore. He's just really tall. She's following him. Good sign. He's back over in his corner again, so... See if I can get in on her a little tighter. There we go. Here he comes. Yeah, he's a pretty nice. Uh, Pretty nice looking nowadays. <clears throat> I 
think we're going to be, we'll do a little better this time. I'll, I'll keep everybody posted uh, on how it all works out. But. Just attempt number two to get these two to bond so I can, I don't really like having dividers in my tanks. It just aesthetically is not very pleasing for me. She's got those tubes. She's in that. That's a four-inch PVC pipe that she's in. It's actually cheaper to buy, you know, six-foot sections of that four-inch pipe than it is to uh, buy the individual elbows and couplings and stuff. For, you know, from your hardware store. It's just cheaper to do it this that way, and then just cut them with a hacksaw or a circular saw or Saws all, whatever you got. Looks like we're going to do a little better here this time. So, I'll kind of keep it on her here for a minute. See if we can get any close ups of her, and then uh, I'll sign it off so I don't bore you guys to death. If anything good happens, I'll for sure shoot another video. But let's see if we can get in on her a little bit. And just a quick uh, update on Grendel and his female. The eggs are still there. Uh, Grendel's actually a little bit tore up at the moment. Uh, the female will not let him anywhere near the clutch of eggs. Uh, every time he comes near, she darts out and bites him. His fins are all tore up and and stuff. I mean, nothing super major, but she can hold her own, that's for sure. I find it pretty interesting. She's really feisty. I'm not worried about her at all. This one here isn't quite as feisty as, uh, as Grendel's female is, so... But yeah, that's it, guys, for now. Um... If I get any spawning, I'll for sure uh, try to get what I can of it. Um, we all know how they like to spawn when nobody's around, so if I can capture it, I will. Alright, well, hope you liked the video, guys. Sorry to bore you to death. Uh, if I can get one more close-up of him quick. be, be kind of nice. If he, He's not going to sit still now, though. Try it one more time. There we go. He's getting pretty good size. I'm really impressed with him. Looks like we're going to be alright this time. Alright. Signing off. Thanks, guys.